Damn it! What's so special about me? Those renegades need to hurry up and make up their freaking minds about whether they're our enemies or not. Boy, what are we going to do now? We've got to save Colette somehow. She's going to die if she's made into Martell's vessel. But what can we do? Sheena, where did you get your X-Sphere? Huh? Well, that came out of nowhere. I got this before I came here. They attached it to me at the Imperial Research Academy. Is it normal for people to equip X-Spheres in Teveala? No, not at all. The technology was originally brought over by the Renegades. Nowadays, X-Spheres are mainly attached to machines. Wait a second. So Teveala and the Renegades are on the same side? I'm not sure if you could say that. But the Renegades were the ones that brought us information about the nature of the two worlds. And the plan to assassinate the Chosen was their idea. They talked the King and the Pope into it. If you desire for Tethayala to prosper, kill the Chosen of Silveront. That's horrible! Lloyd, I suggest we go to Tethayala. Why Tethayala? Don't you remember what Ewan said? Angels are half-elves that evolved using special X-spheres called Crucius Crystals. Oh, I get it. Colette's current condition is caused by the Crucius Crystal. Since Tethayala is studying the X-spheres, they may know something about Crucius Crystals as well. That's a good idea. I'm pretty sure that they're studying the Crucius Crystal that belongs to Tethayala's Chosen at the Imperial Research Academy. There's a Chosen in Tethayala too? Of course. The World Regeneration Ritual is carried out in Tethayala as well. The Church of Martell exists too. But if they've been carrying out the regeneration that many times, why hasn't Martell's vessel been completed already? I'm curious about that myself. Perhaps those corpses lined up in the Tower of Salvation were... No, never mind. Yeah, there are too many things that we don't know. Crucius's objective, the Renegades, the method to save Colette. So let's just start with what we can do now. So, we're going to Tetheala? Yeah, that's the only lead we have right now. And this time, I'm going to fulfill my role. I'm not going to let Colette bear the burden all by herself anymore. Wait a minute. That's great and all, but how are we going to get to Tetheala? I'm sure Sheena knows how to get there, correct? My understanding is that you can travel to Tetheala by passing through a distortion in space. As far as I know, crafts called Riyards are the only things that can do that. Where are they? The Renegades should have them. They should be somewhere on this base. Okay then. Let's get going. So these are the Riards. Hurry, they'll catch up to us! Alright then, Tetheola, here we come.
I don't know. It just suddenly... Look, the fuel gauge is empty. So that's it. Since you've broken the seals in Silverant, there's not enough mana in this world. And that means... We're gonna fall! Ah! Ah! <sighs> I think we managed to avoid destroying them completely. But they're useless unless we get some fuel. What's the fuel? Coal? Coal? Oh, jeez. How do you guys manage to actually live in Silverant? Then magic, I assume. Perhaps the lightning that Volt produces? Then all we have to do is have Sheena summon Volt, right? I haven't made a pact with Volt. Oh. Well, then I guess we'll just have to leave these here. Oh, and here I thought Magi technology was infallible. What's that? That's the Tower of Salvation. Why is that here? This is Tefeala, right? Of course. The Tower of Salvation appears in the Flourishing World. The Tower also appeared on your side after Colette received the Oracle, right? Two worlds. Two towers. What about the Holy Ground? The Church of Martell is also over here, correct? Is the holy ground called Carlon? Yes. The place where the Tower of Salvation lies is the holy ground of Carlon. The same is in your world. The holy ground of Carlon is where the peace treaty was signed to end the ancient war. There can't be two of them. Are you sure yours isn't a fake? We have records in our museums that depict how the hero Mythos called the two ancient kings to the holy ground of Carlon in order to forge a peace treaty. And such records exist on our side as well. Instruments used to sign the treaty can be found in the Palma Costa Academy. So, either one side is fake, or maybe they're actually both real. Lloyd, that's not possible. Don't get mad, I was just kind of saying stuff. Anyway, let's get going. It's true we aren't going to get anywhere by pondering about it here. Wow, it's our first adventure in Tetheala. Genus, this isn't a field trip.
Let's get this over. Are you okay?
Alright, let's go! Watch where you're going! Now, now, settle down, my darling honeys. Hi there, my little cool beauty. Are you hurt? Well, Master Zellos himself has deigned to speak to this girl, and yet look how she acts! Just look at her. It's not even festival time, and yet she's dressed up in an angel costume. How stupid are you? Can you believe the nerve of this hag? What did you say? Genus, let it go. She's obviously never looked in a mirror. What did you say? You're all behaving like children. Now, now, settle down. Are you upset, my little angel? You know, I bet you're as cute as a button when you smile. Whoa! 
Wow, that was a surprise. You sure are strong, my little angel. You certainly startled me. Well, who are you? No offense, but I'm not interested in talking to guys. I hate this guy already. Ooh, what's your name, beautiful? Give me your name and I'll give you mine. Hey, you copied Lloyd! Uh, now that I've heard someone else say it, it sounds kind of arrogant. Oh, my, you don't know me? Well, well, I guess I still have a ways to go. <laughs> Master Zelos, let's go! Oh, yes, yes, of course. Well then, I'll see you again. My lovely lady, my cute little angel, and, uh, you other people. What was that all about? What an ass! He was grinning like an idiot the entire time! What's wrong with that guy? He had an X-sphere on him. What? No way! So that's how he reacted so fast. Just who is that guy?
Well then, I'll let you get to work. The sacred wood goes to Altamira. You can do it after your current job is done. Understood. The plan is right on schedule. I must report to Lord Rodile. A sec. Um, Persea. Could we have a moment of your time? I'm Lloyd. This is Colette and Rain and I I'm Genus. Hey, Genus. Why are you all flushed? Would you let us help you carry the sacred wood? W wait. I'm sorry. I know this is a bit strange, but please hear us out. The truth is, we have a letter we wish to give to the king. Our friend's life depends on it. But we have a problem because the king is sick and refuses to see anyone. It would really help us out if we could carry it for you. Uh, are you listening? Understood. Um, Persea? Please carry that. Oh, okay. Leave it to us. Oh my... Wait... Wait a minute... Ah, this thing is heavy! I've lost all confidence as a man. Me too. Anyway, let's follow her.
Lloyd, you're finally here. Uh, Zelos, right? Yep, yep. I'm the great Zelos Wilder. But you can just call me Zelos. We're gonna be traveling together for a while, so, uh, let's be friends, okay? He sounds like he doesn't take anything seriously. Let's see, putting aside the two guys, this gorgeous beauty is Rain, right? And then this cool cutie here would be Colette. And then who's this little one? Persea. She helped us sneak into the castle. The little one isn't from Silverant? Ozette. Ozette? That village out in the boonda? I mean, out in the forest? Ah, oh, that's so sad. You're being used by these uncivilized barbarians. Who are you calling uncivilized barbarians? Hey, 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 don't get mad. Especially after all the trouble I went through to contact the Imperial Research Academy for you. Not bad, Zelos. I know. Using the Research Academy requires permission from the King. But when the great Zelos speaks, his majesty listens. Since you're going to be keeping tabs on us, I'd certainly expect that much. You're an obnoxious brat, you know that? Going to the Imperial Research Academy is fine, but can we have you free Prisea? Surely you don't need to keep tabs on her as well. No. The Imperial Research Academy and OZ are both on the continent across the sea, so we can just drop her off when we go. I, I agree! That's a great idea! Is that okay with you, Prisea? Yes. Okay then, where should we go? To Cybac. It's on the other side of the Grand Tetheala Bridge. It's northeast of here. The Imperial Research Academy. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. Let's go, everybody.